welcome, this is Ruth and today I've got two beautiful die sets and a little stamp set to share with you. Now apologies before I go any further for my voice, I'm trying really really hard but I haven't been well for several days and I'm just doing this one in little bits and pieces while my throat holds out, so forgive me for that. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year to everybody. Unfortunately I haven't been too good but hopefully I'm on the mend now and uh, I'll be back to making more videos as soon as my throat uh, improves. Anyhow, <laughs> um, this is the Wonderful Windows Alpine View, View die set. There are 24 dies in this one. It has a most beautiful shaped window here. I'll have a closer look at that in a minute. And then this one is the Wonderful Windows Downtown View die set. And 24 dies in there. You can have a little look there. And I'll come back to the, that one. Then we've got a 4x6, that's an A6 size stamp set. And it has all these beautiful stamps in there. So we've got, do you know, I don't think I'll read all those out. But you can see them there. I'll hold them up. Right, let's have just a little look inside here. We'll go firstly to the wonderful Windows Alpine View die set. And it is so beautiful. Um, what you've actually got, if you look on the back here, is a view out of a window. So you're essentially looking through a window to the outside and the view that's outside here can be made with these dies. So this is the window. These elements, which are the beautiful little flowers and plants and things in the plant pot, can be sitting on the windowsill here on the inside with the shutters just on the outside of it and then this part here will be what you see as you look through the window so obviously that possibly could be used with some acetate and then you'll be able to look through that or an aperture in the card or whatever but we'll come back to that in a minute or two there's two beautiful little flower pots there there's lovely mountains <clears throat> Some beautiful plants and some brickwork. Um, I think this possibly is a windowsill, I'm not too sure. And the shutters, but these are curtains and more bricks here and here. And another brick and a little tree. And I will be die cutting all these in a minute or two and then we'll see how we can put that one together. But that shape is even beautiful on its own. That would make a lovely little shaped card. And it would make a lovely little tag. It would also make a lovely little pocket for a memory book as well. Now let's have a look at this one. <clears throat> so this one is the Wonderful Windows Downtown View die set. And it has 24 dies as well. And then this one, we can have a look. You're looking out through the window as well because you've got that view, the downtown view. So this is the shape of the window this time. And again, that would make a lovely tag or bookmark or whatever. It definitely makes a lovely aperture in a card and, and the rest of it could be seen through it. And then we've got some beautiful curtains. Now there's curtains and a curtain pole and some little plants. Uh, but do remember that all of those, especially those curtains, they're really, really beautiful. Use those with your patterned papers and all sorts of things and the curtain pole. And they don't have to be used with this die set solely. You can use them with all sorts of other things as well. We've also got these gorgeous uh, skyline uh, dies with the backing plates here for several pieces of them. And those are really, really beautiful. But they don't necessarily have to always be used with this. Obviously then we've got this little cat which can sit on the windowsill and the perspective works great because that's the closer up part of it. And then we've got the plants which are bigger as well and this gorgeous little decorative panel that you could use as a windowsill but you could use that for so many other things as well. There's gorgeous little stars there too. And this is a little frame so that could be either a photo, you could put a little photo in there or you could put um, a little, um, just a little mock painting or something like that in it. And these are little books sitting on the shelf as far as I can see. We'll come back to that in a minute or two. I'll do some die cutting and then we'll see what we can make with these and I'm sure it's going to be lovely. Right, I have taken a 5 by 7 card and I've got it in the landscape mode. And I have taken this little die here 
and I've cut it through the centre. So I just measured equal distances out from the sides here and ran that through the die cutting machine. Obviously this way, <coughs> pardon me, with the card open so that um, it didn't mark this side. Because obviously if you had that closed and you ran through, it would try to cut through the two pieces. I suppose that's fairly elementary, but I'll explain it anyhow. So I have taken that piece and then I took a piece of card patterned paper. This is actually from Botanical Beauty paper pad from Trimcraft and I've cut it just inside the size of the actual card blank and then I have taken this die here and popped it into the middle of it, just centred that as well and die cut that out from that and now I'm going to put this on here. But before I do that I have taken the two uh, shutter dies and I know the shutters are, would generally be on the outside of a window but I am actually going to just pop them in here so I want to glue those just in behind that so that they will open back and just uh, glue the backs of them here onto the backs of this let's just see here and then that way this will sit back far enough for me to be able to add another die cut on top of this here because I've also taken the two dies together, so that's this one and the arch one together and I've cut out this shape and I want to glue that on top of this. So I'll glue all of that together and then I'll show you what I'm going to do then on the inside. Just in case I don't come back to it again, uh, I just want to point out that I have actually cut this piece out of the centre of this card, this paper, and that means that I've got this or the other side of it to use as a little tag or anything that I uh, think I could use it for, a bookmark or whatever. It's a little extra piece that I definitely won't be throwing out. So I have cut that same piece out in Arctic Blue and I've already put the little mountain range onto it that I cut with this piece. and. I've hemmed and had a little bit over this one and I actually think when I put this in here that that needs something just to brighten it up and bring in the little white edges of the card and in the meantime I'm going to leave it like that and might not add the brown one on top and I might keep this for something else but we'll hold off and see I haven't uh, dismissed it completely yet so this piece here then needs to go directly in behind that so all I need to do here then is pop it on here, just set it there for a moment or two and put some glue on the back of it. Now I've got wet glue on it there and I haven't got it right out to the edges as you can see. I'm centering it as well as I can there at the minute and then I'll fold that over and then I can just flip it over this way and then I can check if that's straight and if it's not all I need to do is slide it slightly over because the, the wet glue is still not dried and I have it sitting perfectly there. Now I've also gone ahead and cut out the little pieces here and I want to add the rest of them on while this is in situ here. So I've got these little pieces cut out and they're still in the die. So I have just turned this little die over and then I can more or less see where these pieces go uh, from that and I'm just going to pop them on there and I don't suppose it really makes much difference if they go in not exactly the right place but we'll get them as close as we can and that goes in there I've gone ahead then and added the little clouds on there and I've now got my shimmer pen so this is the glitter gloss shimmer pen and I just would like to add some shimmer to the snow there and it might not be too visible but I think it would make a nice little glittery addition to it so I'm just checking on my card here and then on I go. So 
So you'll notice too, I should have said at the start of the video that I'm trying to keep this to quite masculine colours because I've been asked for that quite a bit lately and you know who you are. <laughs> I'm not putting sort of girly uh, wallpaper and things on there because this die totally can be used to make cards for men. Now I've got two little flower pots here and I've got one cut out in craft card and that is this one that has the two little pieces out of the side and I am going to glue that directly on top of uh, the one that is plain here. Now, normally you'd put, uh, <coughs> pardon me, the highlighters in, in a lighter colour but I actually think that quite works because I do want to have that just sitting up uh, just about there I think. So I've got both of these glued together and I've die cut the plant out of some satin card and I think it's always really really nice if you can add a different texture or a different finish of card. This is uh, pearlescent and then we've got pattern and then we've got glitter and we've got all sorts of things going on there it always adds a little bit of interest to your cards if you can sort of vary that a bit whoops <laughs> because this is a satin card going on to pearlescent card it doesn't hold very well there so i've cut out another little um, plant pot a little flower pot just in craft card and i'm going to glue it over the top and that just strengthens that and will hold that together better and now I'm going to add a little piece of 3D foam pad just along the bottom there. And I only want it at the bottom because I don't want it showing through on the other side of where this aperture is cut. And I'm going to pop that on there. Now that is just for uh, dimensions, so I do want to add a little bit of extra glue just to be sure. I'm not really worried about uh, the adhesion with the foam pad, it's really just the dimension. And I'm going to leave that like that. Now, it looks like it's covering up part of the mountain because it's flat like this, but when the cards open, it doesn't look like that at all. I may actually just add a little bit of glue on here and hold that back onto there as well. stamp this little sentiment out and normally I would put that on a little backing plate and have a different colour outside it but I don't want to add any more darker elements to that so all I'm going to do is add three little dots of glue across here hold this open so that it doesn't go on the outside sorry on the back of the card there I just want it on there and there and then a little bit there and there and keeping that open I will just pop that directly on there from that one completely I just want to remind you that you can make that a lot more feminine and pretty looking if you use different colours in the background uh, sort of nice feminine colours of wallpaper and whatever and add little flowers and things across there a little bit more decoration to it but um, I think there's always a use for a card like this as well now I want to use the piece that I cut out of here and rather than make another actual card like that again what I've done is I've cut the shutters both of them again from craft card this time and I've glued them onto the back of that and now I'm going to add another piece of white card just on top of that and that will uh, cover those glue tabs then I've got another one of these cut as well and I've scored from point to point across here and I'm going to glue that onto the top of there and that will make my little card blank it'll be a top fold card so first of all I'll glue all this together I've added the little, uh, well it's a windowsill or a mantelpiece or whatever along here and I just trimmed off the edges so that it fitted inside there and I've put the foliage in here and the little sunflower leaves and uh, two little layers of flowers on there and one on there and then I realised what this little circle was for <laughs> it's actually the centre of the sunflower so I'm going to pop that in there and then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of shading onto these flower pots and that's that little card finished. So this is the shorthorn brown 
um, alcohol marker and I'm just going to go in along here and add some shading. was finished there but once I saw the uh, marker on there I thought I'd like to add a little bit onto the flowers as well so I've got the butternut squash marker here and I'm just adding a little bit of shading in at those petals I had this piece cut out as you saw and I didn't want to waste it I wanted to use it up just to show you something you could do with it in this video as well so I have cut out the plain piece again in white and in blue and I've glued those both together with a little loop of ribbon down in between the two of them. Obviously I could have punched a little hole or whatever but I want to put this on top. So I've got my little mountain range on here with the snow already on it and I only glued that by the bottom part here so you can see it actually comes apart there. Actually looking at that now I think that would make a lovely little pocket. You could just put glue up here and here and you could actually pop something down in behind the mountain range. So that's just another little thought to bear in mind. But what I did was I cut the mountain range again and I cut roughly about three quarters of a centimetre off the bottom of it and flipped it over and I've added some of these on and uh, now I can go ahead and glue that down in there and it fits perfectly. And I've added my little clouds up at the top. The only thing you need to watch out for here is just to make sure that when you push this down you've, got, you've no gap in here. There we are. And I've got another cloud which I am going to put on. Well, I don't want it to go uh, all in a line like that, and I don't want it parallel with any of these, so I'm going to put it about there and then I snip a piece off the side of it. So, probably about there. And now I can go ahead and glue this on, and I've got a lovely gift tag. And there it is. And with those three, I've stuck completely to the dies that are in that one die set. But I could obviously have taken some of them from the other window set and used them and interchanged those. That's always a possibility too. Moving on now to the other die set. I've taken this die and I've put that centrally onto an A6 card. I've run that through my die cutting machine and that has given me this beautiful pattern cut into the card. Then I have cut the plain arch that's in the set as well out in glue. So I have taken some of the little dies from the, I've taken this one, <laughs> which is actually this die. And then there are some little panels there and they correspond with the back, the background of these the little plates. And you'll get this one and this one. And then there's another little one there and it cuts out this. So I've cut the, the foreground part out in white. I've cut these other pieces out in grey and I'm going to glue those together there and there and then I'll add this little piece into the centre and then pop that on there before I add any extra sky clouds and things onto that. My initial intention, as soon as I was uh, started to make this card, I was going to just glue that right onto there and leave it like that. But I've decided again that it would be nice glued to the back, so I'm going to glue it on here. And again, it's much easier if I just put glue on this part, just like I did in the last the last time, and sort of centre that on there, like so. And close that over and then open it up before it's properly grabbed and 
just make sure everything's straight and there you have it I think that looks really really nice on the inside there and normally I would only do that if I had a top fold card but it actually looks really really nice when it's opening like that now that also just means that you've got to write anything you want to write will have to either be down here or on the back and I would probably go for the back but that's not a problem now I have cut out some other little bits and pieces so I've got the little curtain pole I just can't catch it here so there it is I have got the little decorative piece which I'm going to use as a sill down at the bottom here now that's going to come off the edge of my card if I don't just push it up over the slightly over here so I'm going to pop that on I think I'll put that on first and everything else can sort of work from there I've also got lovely little green curtains and uh, normally well this is probably just me being pernickety but um, you would always have curtains in here away from that sort of piece there and you would have it there but it does tend to cover up quite a bit of that so I'm going to slide them right out to the edge there and the same here so you can either just trim that off if you wanted to or you could just uh, slide this out and I'm just going to slide it out but I'll go ahead and put this on first I've got the beautiful black plant pot cut out there and I have attached the little uh, foliage to the top and I have just put a little bit of extra card on it just to hold it and give it a little bit of extra security. Now to get those little ridges a bit more prominent while that was still in the die I just I'll set it down here and show you I just took my little styling emboss uh, embossing stylus oh dear dear uh, and did that along the little grooves and that just makes those a bit more prominent and it's really really lovely looking on the shiny card and I'm going to glue that there but what I don't want to do is get any glue on the inside here so I'm going to put oops daisies I'm going to put glue down this side here and then a little bit on here and here Right, I have left the foliage uh, unattached at the top. You could glue that down if you like, but I just thought it looked a bit more realistic if that was sort of popping off just a little bit. And then I've got a lovely little cat to match, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. Glue right down this edge here, and whoops, and on the tail, and then just see where it's going to go, and we'll put a little bit on here. have just done my usual I thought that was finished but when I looked at it I thought the curtains feel a little bit plain and they just needed something else and I realized what it was they didn't have any folds showing in them so if you're not sure what sort of color to take to add even just the slightest detail to your cards uh, to patterned paper or um, different colors of paper like this go for the lightest gray that you have and this one is turtle dove and I have just drawn a little line down from each of those areas where they're marked at the top there and it just gives a little bit of shading and makes those a little bit more realistic looking and actually you could do the same thing from there and there we are and I think that really helps I don't think uh, a simple video has ever taken me as long because I've had to stop for so many cough breaks. Not not coffee breaks, but cough breaks. Anyhow, I'm happy that I've got it to this stage. And I also just remembered that I haven't even said if you have been enjoying the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little uh, comment at the bottom. And also if you haven't subscribed to do that and hit the notification bell too. And you can share it if you like. 
as you can share this video to anybody that else you like and think might be interested in it. Right, back to this card. I have cut out the centre of an A6 card with just the plain arch this time and I'm going to have it looking from the outside in. So I have cut a piece of paper and it's slightly smaller in the height from the card and then slightly narrower but I've added half a centimetre on this side and I'm going to just put glue down here and you, you can see that I have folded that forwards and that's to leave this as a kind of um, not exactly loose leaf but it's that kind of thing so it's going to go there that means that you'll see a kind of a wallpaper effect from the card but you still will be able to open it up and write inside and you won't see that from the outside I have uh, that's actually floral fusion uh, paper from Trimcraft and these two patterns were in the paper so I've cut the curtains out again and I'm going to glue those on there one on each side on the inside this time And um, I don't know if I said this just before, but I kept that in the die cut in the die as well and just reinforced all these little areas with my stylus. And that means that they sit out just a little bit more and they look lovely. That's chestnut brown pearlescent card. And as you can see, I've put uh, 3D foam pads on there and I'm not sure that they're too sticky. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. I'm leaving this area free because I might want to add some little plants in there. out some of the flowers there are two sizes of them and I've got the bigger ones for here and here and I suppose I've got those very symmetrical and they wouldn't really be like that but that's just how I feel tonight so that's how it's going and I have uh, sort of left them sitting up so that I oh dear so that I should be able to get this in behind here there we are that's it and we've got the little cat and the little cat is sitting outside looking in this time on the windowsill but just in behind the flowers the way cats do they just, uh, oh, I kind of miss having a little cat in the house, but we've got Nico and he more than makes up for it. So now I am going to just put some crystal drops or something into the centre of these and that's another beautiful card finished. everything I'm going to make with the two sets and I need to watch that I don't um, smudge those little drops because they're not dry yet but uh, first of all we need to remember that that was just a bit of artistic uh, license there putting those shutters on the inside but it's a card it's not um, anything too that you need to worry too much about it just looks beautiful the way it is and why could you not have shutters on the inside so we've got that one and this little tag and this little card, top fold card with shutters opening there. I think that's really lovely. I really, really love just that tiny little bit of effect from the alcohol markers in there. And then this one and the alcohol markers again there. Quite simple. And all of these, to my mind anyway, are all kind of male. Uh, they could be used for males. This one here, I've just wanted to add a little bit of colour and something more floral in it to show you that that's possible as well. And that has worked out really nice too. Ah, I've just remembered. I was going to do a bridge fold card. But I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to make it now, but uh, just bear that in mind. A bridge fold uh, where it comes out and goes in at the centre and then the piece goes across where the two edges come out. Um, you could put the shutters on each side and then where the recess is, you could put your window and add lots of plants trailing over where that strip goes across the front of the bridge fold. Maybe sometime, or maybe some of you will make it anyway. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. I'm just going to sign off quickly now. I've had enough, and I'm sure you've had enough of listening to this croak. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I did enjoy making it, and I'm glad I got up to do it. I've got a little confession to make. I've got my pyjamas on underneath my cardigan, and I can't wait to get back to bed. I'll see you soon.
thanks so much for watching. My affiliate links for all of this will be down below in the description and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.